This is called Married Man's Song, and it's the poem for which the title of this book, Rooms for Rent in the Outer Planets, comes from. When he makes love to the young girl, what does the middle-aged, long, married man say to himself and the girl? That lovers live and desk clerks perish? <laughs> When neons flash the girl into light and shadow, the room vanishes and all those other guests who checked out long ago are smiling. And only the darkness of her may be touched, only the whiteness looked at. She stands above him as a stone goddess, weeping tears and honey. She is half his age and far older, and how can a man tell his wife this? Later, they'll meet in politeness, in all politeness, not quite strangers, but never friends. And hands touched elsewhere may shake together with brush of fingers and casual eyes, and the cleaner clings to magic whiteness, and love survives in the worst cologne. But not girls' bodies that turn black leather, for all believe in the ad man's lies. In rare cases among the legions of married men, such moments of shining have never happened. And whether to praise such men for their steadfast virtue or condemn them as fools for living without magic answer can hardly be given. There are rooms for rent in the outer planets and neons blaze in floral sask. We live with death, but it's life we die with in the blossoming earth where springs the rose. In house and highway, in town and country, what's given is paid for, blood gifts are sold, the star's white fingers unscrew the light bulbs, the bill is due, and the desk clerk wakes. Outside our door, the steps are quiet, light comes and goes from a ghostly sun, where only the darkness may be remembered, and the rest is gone.